Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. The background of options, we, um, uh, we, you're going to hear me use these terms today, calls, puts, strike price, implied volatility, expiration month, intrinsic value, and I'm going to talk about the four Greeks today as well, on the Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega. So uh, that will just kind of serve as a quick uh, background in that regard. And the call is obviously something that gives you the right but not the obligation to, uh, to purchase a vehicle or purchase something. So if I see the ICE FX call at this price, I mean, I'm looking to go. I'm taking on a longer bullish position there. Um, if I would say to buy a put, an ICFX put at this price, it means we take on a bearish position, uh, whatever that strike price is. Clearly, when it comes to calls, the uh, the lower the strike price, the more beneficial, or the, the, uh, not the more beneficial, but the more the more costly it will be. Uh, with puts, the higher the strike price, the more costly it will be. Uh, implied volatility plays a, a major component in what we use. Um, and, uh, and and obviously, it's like the difference between insuring someone, you know, that's a 40-year-old with, with, with a with a wife and three kids when it comes to driving, or insuring a 16-year-old with a DUI. You know, the, the implied volatility of those drivers is, is, is materially different, and will be reflected in the underlying premiums that you have to pay or sell in, in that instance. The expiration month is, is, is a different. You know, is, is obviously indicates the time and plays more of a theta value or, or time component. The intrinsic value as well. Um, and it works from there. So it's composed of four Greeks as well, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega. Um, now, when I talk about the Greeks, which you'll see here as, as we progress along, the Delta uh, is, uh, is a component that represents, okay, so like for an asset money call, all right, we have the de Delta is going to be a 0.5. Or for that vehicle, meaning like if the underlying market rallies, let's say, 10 bucks, that call will rally by five. So in, in a vacuum, assuming none of the other Greeks are, are, are at play. Um, uh, the gamma means like how much that delta will change. So like the deeper a call gets in the money, the higher the uh, that delta will become. And, and that change of that delta is reflected by the underlying gamma, and that's where we get the component of gamma trading or, or delta hedging. They're, they're synonymous terms play from there. The theta or the time component um, reflects how much a time decay as with an insurance policy as you approach expiration, obviously, you know, it becomes less and less valuable from, from, from a theta standpoint, and, uh, and that theta increases exponentially as you get closer uh, to, to the final to the final witching. And the vague is the volatility component. As we see markets that go through really wild ranges like we saw last October, November, and now we see uh, now we see the markets go uh, go 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 on the other route. So yeehaw. Okay. Forex option strategies. I'm just going to cover three today. Um, the first are, are synthetic calls and puts. The second are straddles, and the third are strangles. Um, a synthetic call or put means that, um, and this is this is an important concept to understand. Is that we um, and again, I, I I just want to apologize for the audio here. I'm on a robust trading floor here at uh, 54th Street between Madison and Park Avenue. And uh, there was a big market day today, so there's a lot of uh, talk going on. People reposition themselves, and it's pretty exciting to be involved in. And uh, if you guys pick up on that, I hope you pick up on that energy um, that it is going on. If it creates some noise congestion, I apologize. And uh, you can email me with any questions after the uh, after the class. So the synthetic calls and puts, <clears throat> um, the straddles, the straddles is simply I'm going long and call and the put at a, at a same strike price. It's a, it's a you know, vanilla way of playing volatility. You can also short a straddle if you think that implied volatility is mispriced, um, keeping it very basic right now. But there's many ways to do that when it comes to that. And the uh, last strategy is a strangle, which we will, uh, you know, in, involves being longer call and longer put at different strike prices or shorter call and shorter put at different strike prices as well. Again, those are vanilla plays on volatility, but, uh, but, but still gives you a means or methodology of taking on a reflective viewpoint of an overall currency market. Uh, again, going over the, the symbols one more time as we embark upon uh, a couple of real-world examples, uh, the USD Euro, EUI, USD CAD, Charlie Delta Delta, um, you know, the British Pound, Bra Bravo, Papa Xerox, Aussie, 
Alpha Uniform Xerox, a USD JPY Uniform, uh, a Yankee Uniform Kilo, and a USD CHF is a um, Sierra Fox Rod Charlie. Spent nine years in the Marine Corps. I knew sooner or later that would come in handy. All right. Now looking at the strategies themselves, okay. If I want to, when I say a synthetic call, okay, I'm talking about being long to underline and long to put, okay. So if I if I'm long to underline, I want to hedge out my position, all right. That that in essence takes on the same price dynamics as a call option does. And this is this is important to understand because if you get into a put position but your viewpoint changes, you, you can alter the skew of that, you can alter the metrics of that, or you can alter your down profile. By, by going along the, uh, the underline against it. And, and depending on how much of the underline you go along, it, it can give you a pretty good, uh, either a, bull, a bullish exposure, because obviously it's not a call, or not so much of a bearish exposure, or you can do what we call delta neutral in that regard. And that's, that's something to keep in mind and just sort of shows the, uh, the array of, of, of options you have, the array of choices you have when trading options. Um, in this case, we'll be long the the YUK, or the uniform, uh, Yankee Uniform Kilo, that's the uh, ISFXN call. Um, and, and in this case, uh, long, uh, sorry, long the underline, which could be the spot market, and then, and then long the YUK put. Conversely, we could also be long the synthetic, uh, take on a synthetic put position, meaning that we're short the underline, and uh, we can own the, uh, the, uh, the underline as well. So, huh. So, with, with that being said, if uh, again, if, if what I'm saying is coming in a little bit off, uh, you have some questions, I think the presentation will be made available. Just send me an email, um, type that in here to everyone. Been, uh, been swinging futures contracts and, and, and Forex and everything uh, for about 12 hours now. So uh, you guys are going to get some fresh market perspective for sure. And uh, I mean, I mean, how many people in here traded today? If I get, if I get a, can I get a response of the audience? So just tell me how many people in here traded. Just say I did, I did. If you didn't trade, don't say anything. Just only if you, only if you traded, please type in. Cool. Nice. You guys are hungry. Got the real deal on the panelists here. Cool. Traded with Russell. Nice. Get them, Tyrone, Michael, Etheridge, Harris, Bruce, Leo, John, Sandy, Carlos. I knew Carlos traded. I just had a feeling. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just take a look at, at how at how that sets up and how that looks. We we get long a uh, you know, long a synthetic call. Obviously, we have um, cap downside and, and max upside. And we talked earlier about compartmentalizing risk and, and, and what and what your gamma profile looks like. Well. Your exposure, you know, when you're long gamma means that the more the market goes up, the longer you become, and the more the market goes down, the shorter you become. In essence, you know, if you're long a straddle, you're, you're, you're long gamma of a particular market. Conversely, if you're if you're if you're short gamma, it means the more the market goes up, the uh, the shorter you become, and the more the market goes down, the longer you become. So short gamma strategies have more of a have more of a component that, that's applicable in a range down market. Where long, where long gamma strategy, at least in theory, would, would be applicable in a, in a trending market. And that's just something to keep in mind as, as we progress throughout the presentation here. Um, again, I just showed you a synthetic call, what that looks like as far as being you know, long the underline and long the put. Now, now here's what a synthetic put looks like. Again, the risk metrics are, are comparable insofar as the, the, the maximum downside is defined, whereas the upside is, is obviously very lucrative if things go your way. Um, in this case, we're, uh, we're long a call and we're short the underlying, and that's reflected by this PL chart right here. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.